In the aftermath of World War II, a new world order emerged with the United States at its helm. This American world order brought stability, prosperity, and defined borders. However, history tells us that this cycle has repeated, and the shifts in power dynamics are crucial to understanding our current situation. Following the tumultuous era of war, a crucial aspect of history unfolds, the reset that occurs after the fight for the system's workings. This post-war phase acts as a great leveler, bringing about a fresh start by leveling debts and ushering in a period of reconstruction and redefinition. In the aftermath of World War II, the United States emerged as the dominant power on the global stage, holding a position of unparalleled influence. With this newfound dominance came the responsibility of managing the world's reserve currency, a significant asset that shaped the international economic landscape. However, the era of peace and prosperity that followed also gave rise to its own set of challenges. As wealth and prosperity increased, so did the gaps within society. The rising wealth gaps became more pronounced, leading to disparities between different segments of the population. Opportunity gaps also widened, as those with more resources could provide better education and opportunities for their children, perpetuating a cycle of privilege. Concurrently, the period of prosperity witnessed a surge in debt levels. The initial wave of rebuilding and economic growth often relied on borrowing capital, contributing to the mounting debt that would become a significant factor in the subsequent phases of the cycle. This complex interplay between peace, prosperity, and their associated challenges exemplifies the cyclical nature of historical patterns. The post-war period, while marked by unity and reconstruction, sowed seeds of future disparities. The initial leveling of debts and a fresh start evolved into a dynamic where economic success led to increased inequality and a growing burden of debt. Recognizing these historical patterns becomes essential for understanding the broader context in which nations navigate their economic trajectories. It sets the stage for anticipating and addressing the challenges that may arise in the wake of periods marked by peace and prosperity. As time progresses, other nations rise, competition increases, and a new generation emerges. The psychology shifts, caution diminishes, and financial behaviors become less restrained. The world's reserve currency, a key element in this cycle, holds significant influence over global stability. Ray Dalio's insights delve into three fundamental forces that play a pivotal role in shaping the trajectory of a nation's future. The first force centers around the economic dynamics of a country. Dalio raises a critical question. Is the nation earning more than it's spending? This economic force is foundational as it directly influences the country's financial stability. It encompasses considerations of fiscal responsibility, budgetary discipline, and the overall economic health of the nation. Understanding and addressing this force is crucial to navigating the complexities of modern economies and ensuring sustained prosperity. The second force highlighted by Dalio is the internal conflict force, which delves into the unity or division within a nation. The essential inquiry here is whether the citizens are united under a common mission or if internal divisions pose a threat, potentially leading to civil unrest. This force underscores the significance of social cohesion, shared values, and a collective vision. Internal conflict, if left unaddressed, can undermine the very fabric of society, risking political stability and impeding progress. Dalio's emphasis on this force underscores the interconnectedness of the nation's success with its ability to forge a unified path forward. The third force identified by Dalio is a geopolitical force, specifically examining the rise of other great powers on the global stage, such as China and Russia. Geopolitical shifts have profound implications for international relations, economic alliances, and the balance of power. The ascent of emerging powers introduces a dynamic element to the global landscape, influencing trade, diplomacy, and strategic considerations. Acknowledging and adapting to these geopolitical forces is imperative for nations to navigate the complexities of an interconnected world and safeguard their interests on the international stage. In essence, Dalio's triad of forces encapsulates the intricate web of factors that mold a nation's destiny. It underscores the importance of economic prudence, internal cohesion, and a nuanced understanding of global geopolitics in steering a course towards a stable and prosperous future. By examining these forces, policymakers and citizens alike gain valuable insights into the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead, fostering a more informed and resilient approach to national development. Ray Dalio's analysis of the current economic landscape spotlights a concerning trend in the United States, the production of a significant debt coupled with the propensity to spend more than what is earned. This financial dynamic raises critical questions about the sustainability of the nation's fiscal policies and has broader implications for the overall economic health. The accumulation of substantial debt is a key element in Dalio's observation. As the US spends beyond its means, it relies on borrowing to fund its expenditures. This practice, if unchecked, can lead to a chain reaction of consequences.
The government's decision to print more money to cover its obligations emerges as a response to the growing debt burden. While this may provide a temporary solution, it triggers a series of economic mechanisms with far-reaching impacts. One of the direct consequences of increased money supply is inflation, a phenomenon where the value of money decreases and prices for goods and services rise. Dalio asserts that this trend towards inflation is not a speculative or controversial assertion, but rather a clear and observable reality in the current economic climate. As more money is injected into the economy, its purchasing power diminishes, creating challenges for consumers and businesses alike. The ripple effect extends further, leading to rising interest rates. In response to inflationary pressures, central banks may increase interest rates to curb excessive spending and mitigate inflation. Rising interest rates, however, have their own set of implications. They can impact borrowing costs, making it more expensive for individuals, businesses, and the government to access credit. This, in turn, can dampen economic activity, potentially leading to a slowdown or even recession. The internal conflict force, as emphasized by Ray Dalio, delves into the essential aspect of unity within a nation. When causes or ideologies take precedence over the cohesive functioning of the system itself, a nation faces the risk of internal disorder and, in extreme cases, civil war. Dalio's insight resonates with historical examples where deep-seated divisions and ideological clashes have led to radical shifts in societal structures. The polarization in contemporary politics, marked by extreme populism on both ends of the spectrum, reflects a challenge to the unity and stability of nations. This internal discord can manifest in heightened political tensions, social unrest, and a breakdown in the shared values that underpin a cohesive society. The third force identified by Dalio is the rise of great power, currently exemplified by China. This force operates on the premise that as a dominant power, in this case the United States, weakens either financially or internally, vulnerabilities emerge. The competition between established powers and emerging forces intensifies across various fronts, encompassing economic, technological, and geopolitical arenas. The ascent of a great power like China signals a shift in global order, prompting a reassessment of alliances, economic dependencies, and strategic interests. The dynamics of this competition can influence trade relations, technological advancements, and geopolitical strategies, shaping the contours of the international landscape. Recent events in Ukraine highlight the geopolitical struggle. Capital wars, including sanctions, are a prelude to potential military conflicts. The US relies on the power of sanctions due to its control of the world's reserve currency, but this tactic faces challenges as nations seek alternatives. Dalio poses three critical questions for the near future. Firstly, the outcome of Putin's actions in Ukraine will determine if it's a win or loss for Russia. Secondly, the effectiveness of the US's sanctions power will be tested. Lastly, how the world aligns itself in this geopolitical struggle. Dalio urges a shift in mindset, from focusing on the number of dollars to considering buying power. Cash is deemed as trash, and diversification across assets, locations, and a bias towards inflation-protected assets is recommended in the face of these unfolding challenges. If you found this video informative and insightful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below.